does putting more time and your work actually, you know, uh, deliver better results? Is that is that true or not? So I struggled with this for years and years, and I want to go ahead and discuss that with you guys today. Okay, so many people assume that you know spending more time on something will produce a better result. Now think about it for the second, okay? So a programmer might think, you know, hey, if I spend two days on this, you know, on this module, I will produce a better result. Think about it like that. Or let's say you work for somebody and it's five o'clock and, um, you know, it's five o'clock and you gotta send, send that last email. Now you could just send, write that email up and send it over. Or you could, you know, spend 30 more minutes uh, writing that email and sending it now is there really a difference now the resource says that there isn't so spending more time doing something that you already know is not really going to improve the quality of it okay so for example you know all it does it, it boosts your confidence so for example let's say you know you work for somebody and you know or you got an email from a VC and you write this big complicated long email it takes you two hours to write it okay first of all don't write long emails people don't write it because that's tip number one for you tip number two even though you have spent such a long time writing that email what you could have done is taken five minutes done a bullet points and that would have been a much 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 you know use of your time because think about it because you spent two hours writing that email to that VC you could have done other things okay so what I like to focus on is you know productivity meaning in that one hour of time how much work can I get done okay the quality factor you know it does play a part but if you already know something for example you know uh, you know I'm a sales guy and I'm learning each day when I'm supposed to be learning but when I'm working you know I don't like to mix I learn things when I work but when I work on a project proposal consulting, um, I just go ahead and do it because and I do bullet points very fast. I don't like to spend too much time because here's the thing, okay? Number one, either the you know the the proposal the consulting offer will get rejected or it will get accepted. Okay, more chances are that it's gonna get accepted because I wrote a short email. I I was in a concise and I actually. Put, you know made better use of my time in, in, instead of in spending two or three hours writing that proposal okay so that's my that's what I work that's, that's the way I've been working these days and it's been working for me now I was never like you know I wasn't always like that so here's things for example you know um, I've been launching products for almost seven six almost seven almost seven and a half years and uh, to be honest almost ten years to be honest but you know most of my busy work has been done in the last seven years and in a month typical month you know I launch about 15 to you know about 15 SaaS products or softwares for enterprises or for my internet marketing clients and one of the things I noticed was that I was spending so much time working 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 right and I realized that okay I'm making that money now I wanted to spend less time and still spend that same amount or more money so what I did is this okay so I changed the way I work so nowadays I actually have been checking my emails every two days I used to do once a day now it's every two days because that's a better use of my time because email is like in you know, a list of tasks that I need to do that's number one number two is that you know I like to work in chunks nowadays so for example I don't do my you know interviews or consultation with my programmers like everything in that one day and I don't go to sleep at 3 or 4 a.m. these days I've actually been going to bed well I do go to bed late sometimes but that's because I'm drinking sometimes or doing something else it's not because I'm working these days. so I've actually started to work less but you know has my has there been any you know change in my income to be honest not really I'm actually been growing uh, because I have more energy I feel better and I feel more uh, you know better use I feel like I've used my time in a better in a better manner okay now another example I want to give it to you is in a lot of my programmers you know uh, they like to they, they like to work you know I tell them okay get this done this is due in a month they like to you know party around and they usually especially with the one in Romania uh, he likes to you know party around and on the last day he will deliver it okay usually usually 99% of the time 
um, you know, the work is fine, okay, I can't, I, I don't notice, but when I ask him later down the road, how long did it really take you, and he tells me he did it last moment, but the quality has not been tampered with, of course, it needs polishing, of course, that, that's, that's, you know, that's a standard with any other product, but the quality doesn't need, is like still that, what, what he's supposed to deliver, because, you know, his knowledge, his skills has not, uh, you know, has not, you know, uh, it's, it's not decreasing, but he does tell me he does feel more stress. Okay, so I have advised him. I don't know if he's gonna follow the advice, but I've advised him to actually, you know, do it in chunks. Now, it works for me. It might not work for anybody else, but I really advise you to work. You know, uh, if you got something to do, you know, don't spend too much time on it. Do it fast because you know. I mean, if you are learning, take your time. Okay, if you already know something. Don't spend too much time trying to, you know, complicate things, okay? Now, again, spending more time on work actually, you know, uh, hurts how you actually think. For example, when I was taking my biochemistry exams, you know, starting from biochemistry exams, it's an example, for example, for you. And uh, the more I spent, you know, um, learning a topic, the more, you know, it got confused. So what I did was, you know, read the entire chapter in one hour without, you know, putting too much thought on it. And I went to bed, okay? Next day, I had a better understanding because the way our brain works is that if you, if, as long as you process that information, your brain will actually, uh, uh, you know, process it, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, back to the topic. Working, spending more time on a task actually hinders your cognitive skills and emotional intelligence, meaning that will make that might make you more stressed. Again, the example of the programmer, okay? It might make you feel more uh, angered. You know, this, ha this has been happening with a lot of my uh, staff who are in the customer service department. And I tell them, okay, breathe, breathe, okay? And I've also made a change of, you know, hiring more people instead of having the same couple of people working, you know, days in and out. What I've done is I've actually learned to um, hire more people and make them work under 40 hours, um, you know, under 40 hours a week. Now, um, where did this 40 hour a week actually come from? I think you guys know it already. This 40 hour of nine to five work, you know, it actually came uh, via Ford, Henry Ford. He actually wanted to, you know, uh, reduce the number of errors. That's why he reduced the number of working hours to 40 hours a week, okay? That's not, you know, um, you know, perfect, perfect. It's not uh, low enough, but it's low enough to reduce the number of errors at, from that point. So we've been using it, you know, corporate companies have been using it. And these days, the corporate companies actually allow you to, you know, work and come into work when you can work the best. That is the best schedule that a company can provide to their employees, okay? Now, solutions. I think I already talked about it. Now, what I like to do is, like I said, I like to work in chunk these days. I like to check my emails every two days. Um, I do check my, you know, important emails once in a while, but most of the emails I've I've trained my mind to actually ignore it, and it works because uh, if I start, you know, answering emails, it's it's a lot of things to do. It's like a big task. I want to do what I want. And what's my big focus? Okay, what's the big picture? Because I'm not living on day-to-day -day operation i'm looking at you know the big picture okay i have a goal that i need to accomplish and i will get it done by the end of the month that's my that's how i work i don't like working day-to-day 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 operations all those things you know that you don't want to uh that you feel is you know uh using a lot of your time delegate 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 okay learn to delegate your tasks okay now my good friend vas you know, it's funny. So my, I was telling my, va my friend Vass, you know, uh, Vass, I have this, it's a crazy headache. Um, you know, I have to deal with this or this. And he, he, he reminded me of something, okay? So a headache, it's it's not really a headache if you can solve it, solve it with money. So it's just an expense. So if you can solve your headache with money, it's an expense. It's not a headache, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now... I want you to focus more on productivity rather than, you know, I mean, if you are trying to learn something, of course, take your time. But if you already know something, don't try to complicate things. Short emails. Again, this brings it back to everything that I want you to do. 
writing short emails will get you better open rates, better click-through rate. It works, right? Writing short, doing short talks, being brief about things will make things better, not only for you, but for also who are listening to you. So just keep that in mind. Um, that's pretty much it. So again, on the comments, write down, you know, uh, what do you think about this topic? Does putting more time uh, on a task actually produce better results for you? Now, I've spoken to a couple of, you know, uh, graphic artists and they're like, okay, no, no, not really. They can actually do that entire work in that one hour sitting time when, you know, they could have spent, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, you know, instead of spending 20, 30 hours to sit down and, you know, do that entire work in one hour or they spend you know, 20 minutes today, 20 minutes tomorrow. That's, that'll work as well. But try to focus, try to make sure that, you know, uh, try not to be a perfectionist. That's what I'm saying. Because if you try to perfect everything, you're going to lose. And it's, it has happened with me many, many, many times. And as a human, I've learned it. And I've learned to train my mind. And you can do the same thing, okay? Go ahead and comment what do you think about this topic. And ciao.